Hey buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Hungry. Where we left off, we were in the midst of a war with Korea. So I think it's time to start taking the war to Korea once again. We do have to try to clear out this city. Unfortunately, I won't be able to kill Chunchun this turn as much as I would like to. And we're also going to have to get to work on killing some other cities from them as well. Let's start getting some people into position. I don't want to rush straight in. Uh, without a care in the world. I want to make sure that I'm getting effective damage on their cities and that I'm not putting myself at risk of losing some boats because these boats are going to be kept around for quite a long time and they're going to be used uh, in subsequent wars for example against the Maori. Uh, the Maori might be a good target for a war. They have quite a few naval cities that I could grab for myself. Oh excellent I'm still getting nice damage in over here on some of their units that are hanging around in unsafe spaces. And like I predicted the crossbowmen came for me but I could just switch up here and settle on this tile which will give me plus three era score. Very nice. Um, Although I will need to maybe get my own crossbowmen to kind of deal with the barbarians in this area. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'd also like to spend a whole bunch of gold in this city to get it up and running that little bit quicker. And I'm debating if it's worth it to kill the crabs here for the harbor. And man, like it's it's really hard to decide. But I think it's, we're better off not killing the crabs and instead building the harbour like over here, for example. I also think it would be worth it to build an aqueduct. Now the aqueduct would want to go where? Well, if the campus is going here, then the aqueduct is going to go here and the industrial zone will go here. So I'll put the aqueduct down right there of all places. Yeah, right there. I'll swap those just so they get locked in and we'll get to work on the harbor over the next 73 turns. That will of course lessen as the city gets more and more production. First of all, let's get this fishing boat tile online so the city can grow a little bit more effectively. Let's buy another fishing tile over here. In fact, let's buy both of these fishing tiles, this one and this one, and then get this one online. And then we'll swing up here to get that one online. The city is starting to look almost as powerful as some of these other cities. It's getting to work on its entertainment complex. Lots of really great stuff coming along. We almost have aluminum, which I'm pretty excited about. Four 462 gold. Excellent. Stolen from the AI. Now there's not a whole lot of stuff I need to worry about with regards to the AI causing me issues. Gyeongju is going to be a hard war. It's going to be hard to take their capital, but I'm not too concerned about that at the current moment. Let's just keep on working on Gyeongju. I might want to swing in here though for a pillage for a little bit of health. Gyeongju is slowly taking little chunks of damage. We'll get some serious damage on it next turn, but for now... We're just getting our navy into position. Let's see if I can't grab another little bit of experience on one of these guys. There you go. And then we'll take the city with you. Chunchun is now mine. I'm going to try to keep the city. This city actually amazingly almost is loyal. So if I can maybe stabilize this a little bit. You know what? If I purchase a monument in here, this city's loyalty is now stable, right? Yeah, I think the loyalty in here is stable, so I might actually be able to keep these two cities, which will act as bases for attacking Alexander and stuff like that. We grabbed ourselves another settler here in Estergom. I would like to send this up to this tile, if I could. So I'll send it there nice and slowly, and we'll also try to get rid of these barbs up here. I could either build settlers, or I could grab myself a seaport. I think getting even more settlers will make the game even more interesting, so we'll get to work on that. Over here in Chunchin, I could invest a bunch of gold in here to upgrade these cities, and I will, because they're pretty high population, as it currently stands. They already have a campus built. They just need a harbor. I'll pop the harbor right there. It'll take 41 turns to build, but we'll soon be able to improve this city quite a bit once we have more uh, money available. I think I'll purchase the granary in here as well to try to stabilize the growth. Let's get the harbor in here too. I'm going to go ahead and place it uh, not really a great spot to combine it with anything, but I'll pop it right there. Right, we have a bunch of gold. I'm going to go ahead and put three envoys into Lisbon because that's going to net me an awful lot of gold from my cities. The Golden Age is doing a lot of the heavy lifting for my loyalty. Let's keep these boats now moving in to reinforce the other cities in my empire. Or, sorry, not the other cities, but the war against Korea. Time for a promotion on Itzvan. I'm going to take Ace Driver so he has a better chance of escaping if he is caught. And I'm going to also be... I don't know what this privateer was doing here. Uh, let's go ahead and send you to the east. Cultural Alliance with the Canadians. I will go ahead and take that cultural alliance just so I can lock in our friendship a little bit. Welcome to the World Congress. I'm going to say 100% production in harbors would be nice. Not holy sites, sorry, harbors. And I'll also say that double points towards great scientists would be pretty nice and I'll also plug that in right there. Great merchants have been picked, city centers, okay. What is next? Nothing right now. 
I think I'm going to pillage this and then back up and then I'll swing in with a new guy to pillage that next turn again. I want to get as much value out of these cities as I can uh, while it is uh, feasible to do so. Right, we're closing in with our ranged units. Excellent. We've got three frigates in range. You have a promotion. I'm going to take the... Oh, that was the wrong guy. Let's go ahead and start wiping this out. Lots of promotions on the way. Excellent. That city's almost dead, actually. We'll be able to take that next turn. Then we'll get to work on Guangzhou as well. Combine my ironclads. Let's move you up to there, then move you to there. Then I'll combine you two. You're also going to swing up this way. I think I need to maybe redirect to kill the Maori at this point. Let's have a look on where their cities are. They've got a few scattered cities, and I think they would be a pretty easy kill. I could wipe out this city, I could wipe out this city, I could wipe out this city, no problem, and this one. I could kill a lot of their cities without too much of an issue. They're already hostile to me, and I could declare a colonial war, which would mean I would get half the usual grievances, and I have an army in position to actually attack them already. So I tell you what, next turn... We'll get to war with the Maori and start just cleaning up some of their cities because they're pretty vulnerable, they're pretty weak. And I think that would be a pretty valuable thing for us to do is to just do some damage to them. All right, let's improve the gypsum, step you forward, kill that crossbowman right there. Excellent. And of course, we go back to stealing gold from Canada because that is what we want to do to them. We want to steal their money. You go ahead and keep stealing tech boosts. Nanotechnology seems like a good one. You hang out there. I'm actually going to send this uh, un upgraded, uncombined privateer down here because I have another un upgraded, uncombined privateer down here as well. You're going to take a moment to promote to Helmsman, and I'm going to move this caravel over to the west to join up with you. You're going to head east to help out with the conquest of the uh, Maori. Pop in a fishing boat right here in Egger. We've pretty much improved everything that we can. Let's lock in all the tiles that look good to me. Excellent. Still got room to grow and work a bunch of other stuff too. Looks like Korea managed to get her hands on a submarine, which is a little bit dangerous. Let's back you up. Is there a fishing boat that you could maybe get yourself a eel off of? And there is. You could be upgraded to a submarine, but that would cost a lot of oil. Let's start shooting the city to get a significant amount of damage. That is kind of scary. There is now a submarine here causing issues. That is really bad, but there's not much we can do with it right now. We'll just have to keep doing damage to the city and bring it down to a more manageable amount of health so that we can actually kill it. Time for the war with the Maori. Let's declare a colonial war. Only 50 grievances. Excellent. Now, they're pretty easy kills, in my opinion. So let's move forward with our ranged units and start hammering their districts. All right, city is now down and ready. We'll take this one. We'll take it for myself. I will keep it and I'll even invest gold into it to make it more viable. Just the basic stuff. I would like to purchase a shipyard, but I think the lighthouse has been pillaged in here. So we'll get that repaired. All right, we have unlocked aluminum. Did we find aluminum? We've got our first copy of aluminum over here. Let's have a look for aluminum and Hungary. If you do a double search, it will find any aluminum. This is the only aluminum that we have on the map. That is pretty rough. Let's have a look for regular sources of aluminum. Maybe there is some nearby. Canada has some. There's some there. Okay. Wow, this is literally the only source of aluminum that we have found. So we're only going to be able to make one, uh, two bombers rather. We're only, we're only going to be able to make two bombers until we get the card. Where is it? There's one of these cards allows me to get extra resources from aluminum. Ah, it's over here. Conservation. Conservation will allow me to sustain another source of aluminum, which will allow me to go up to three bombers. Three bombers is pretty good. It's not the ideal number. Ideally, you want to have as many as you can get. But uh, we are going to be fighting over aluminum. And then once we have this, we'll be heading back down to pick up oil because we want to be able to maybe build... Uh, we want to be able to build oil-based naval units, like, for example, the submarine and the um, battleship. Although I think the battleship is actually coal powered, so it might be more later stuff like the destroyer and the aircraft carrier that are oil fueled and stuff like that. Kind of weird that the battleship is fueled by oil, but it does upgrade to the missile cruiser, which I or is by coal, which does use oil rather. That's pretty late into the game. We have to get a missile cruiser, but we shall continue on. We got a seaport over here in Buda. Let's grab the arena as well. I'm also going to want to build an aerodrome so I can actually get these planes built. I'll put it right there. It seems pretty good to me, even though that would be a great aqueduct spot, actually, now that I think about it. So I tell you what, I'm going to lock that aqueduct in because that's going to give me extra housing and I'll put the airport over here. I'm going to go ahead and go arena, aqueduct, aerodrome. Pop a quarry down here in Kexmet. 
That'll get me a very nice... Is that a quarry or a mine? That is a quarry. So an industrial zone right here is going to be even better than I had planned. It's going to be a plus four, eventually a plus eight with the industrial zone adjacency bonuses. Let's go ahead and carefully scout up towards this. Alexander will be an interesting target for war because he has quite a few cities on the coastline on this eastern side, as well as quite a few on this western side that are relatively easy to get access access to. Pydna is a little bit of a rough one and a lot of these inner ones are quite tough to get to but we will be able to take out his capital of Pella if we can swing down through the north and cut his civilization off. I'm still having doubts if I want to go full naval but I guess I kind of I'm like super deep into that strategy so I may as well commit. Taking a few hits over here on the Korean front line. Let's keep hammering these districts. I'm going to have you fall back to look for somewhere to heal. I'm going to pillage that for health. You're going to swing back down to the south. Problem is I'm not able to do enough damage to this city with the units that I have on me right now. I can't get it down to a manageable amount of health to be able to actually crash my units into it. I'm kind of tempted to crash both of these caravels into the city in the hopes that I can take it. That did not work at all. Okay, that one worked. Had to lose two caravels for that, but we're going to raise this city and get rid of it off the face of the planet. Aqueduct in Busan is finished. Let's place the industrial zone. It's a plus five industrial zone. Eventually will be a plus ten. We will, of course, be building the university first because the science is more important to me right now. I guess I could, in theory, purchase that university and then just go straight for the industrial zone. That seems like maybe a better move in here. Entertainment complex in Egger is done. Let's go arena into seaport. Keep trading with America. I'm going to move this trader to a different city maybe to get a better trade route with America. Looks like an enemy scout has come and caused me an issue. We'll of course be going to un upgrade those crabs. And this boat is mostly just hanging out waiting to see if it can catch any stragglers. Since we've been having a little bit of an issue getting things all squared away to the north, let's go ahead and send a couple extra boats up here just to secure the war front. I was going to, to be uh, pulling units away, but at this point I think it makes sense to keep sending them that way. And let's get some of these guys moving out towards uh, the other Maori cities. Another great person. And we got Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is one of the best great uh, scientists you can actually pick up because he makes all of your universities provide plus four science, which is a huge boost. We're at 240 science right now. If I swing in here and tap this, now we're up to 280 science. So that's a huge boost in science per turn. Just finished a spy in this city. Let's go ahead and get to work on a seaport. I'm also going to be sending you a spy over in who is my next target it might be a good idea to decide upon a next target i think alexander is as good a target as any so i'll send him over to pella pop up here to grab this hey a boost for divine right <laughs> nice 211 turns into the game you get the divine right boost let's keep trading with america because i like that extra science that i'm picking up from trading with them we'll also pop this settler down up here excellent we will of course be placing the harbor that's a plus three harbor right there we will also be, of course, uh, purchasing all of the basic buildings in here to get the city accelerated up to a more functional status without too much investment in terms of turns. There is an argument to be made for going up to Contractor on Reina, and I think I will go for that because that'll make things very interesting for me. All right, so I'm going to take the promotion here. Swift Keel seems pretty good to me. And um, we're also going to get to work on maybe seeing if we can't kill some of these Maori units that are out in the water. I was got a Maori unit over here that I got to deal with, but he should be an easy kill. Bit of a problem, I actually lack Mela units up here to the north, so I'm going to have to bring this caravel up north to uh, compensate for the fact that I don't have a whole lot of Mela units to attack these cities. Let's get you to there, you to there, you to there, you to there, pillage that, now you're healthy. And we'll start bombarding Guangzhou. Like, so I do have one extra caravel up here, so I can send you down to the south to get healed up. Just like I'm sending some of these other guys down to the south to get healed up. We have brought Korea low down to 114 science per turn. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and pop that crabs in there. Excellent. We'll also be working that second copy of crabs because the gold is very, very valuable. Oof. Taking some pretty rough hits from this. Oh, look, we've got a nuclear submarine over here. That needs to be dealt with as soon as possible because they do just so much damage that it is really terrifying let's go ahead and get you to back up i'm going to take bombardment with you we need to hammer this nuclear submarine to get him gone as hard as we possibly can ah he's just out of range for what we need to do he's probably going to get another kill on us which really really sucks but we did a lot of damage to him i'm going to send even more units to the north now because the submarines are causing me a bit of an issue should be able to handle it though in the in the 
<clears throat> in the grand course of things. Seaport over here has finished up doing what it needs to do. I'm tempted to go ahead and pick up a trader in here. I could just purchase a whole bunch of traders in my capital. You know what? Let's do that very thing because this will give me even more gold. Excellent. And I'll even cancel this trader and then purchase yet another one in there. I'm also going to swing in here and pop on a campus research grant. Let's pop in a fishing boat as well up here in Albuda. The city will be able to work that. In fact, I'm going to tell it to work that because that'll grow it just slightly faster over the long run. Not a huge amount faster, but it will be faster, like I said, in the long run. I'm tempted to steal this crab tile, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to swing up here and steal this. Oh dear, that is an awful lot of musketmen causing problems up here. This is gonna be a tough fight for this crossbowman. Let's get these guys dealt with, I think so. Like so, excellent. Then we'll move up to start taking on this city right here. Let's bombard this submarine right here. We'll get to work on it. There we go, nice and dead. Let's promote with loot and we'll swing up here to this guy. Tempted to take the rolling barrage on you. We'll keep hitting this city. You're going to hit the city as well. Although I might pillage that for the heal. Because when you pillage uh, entertainment districts, you get healed from it, which is always very nice. In fact, actually, both of these are uncombined caravels. So they can be combined together to restore a little bit of health to them. You, on the other hand, are going to have to come all the way back to heal. Yet another settler has finished. And uh, I'm looking for potential openings for settlements. And it looks like there's a pretty decent spot to settle over here. Yeah, this is looking like the spot. So we'll send you out there. I don't care if you get captured. I'm kind of just building settlers for the sake of building settlers because it's kind of fun. Uh, let's get the seaport in here. You know, in theory, I could do a lot of damage to this city with just these boats. And so I will. And then we'll come over here. Oh, I should have shot it first. I thought these guys had already moved this turn. Uh, these mistakes happen. It's not the end of the world. Coastal raiding is always nice. I've got two build charges here. I don't see a whole lot of stuff that I can actually improve, though. I'm just going to send you down back to the main line area of my capital island it's going to keep trading for gold primarily not looking for oh wow i missed out on really good gold trade routes because my list was scrolled down slightly all right this is going to require some shooting to survive there is advanced flight which we can now start to produce aircraft in my capital once this aerodrome is finished i'll probably purchase a few and then get them flying around this is why i'm going to need to start capturing city to actually station my planes and i think that means my very first target is going to be a combination of norway and sweden um, because they are uh, within range of my aircraft capable uh, cities right the aircraft can kind of reach across the sea and that means my navy is going to want to make their way back over here on the other hand i could maybe try to keep guanju and daegu when i take them and i'm not entirely against that move let's be careful here though i'm going to back you up because i'm scared of die of you dying on me we're going to bring you around to here bring you to there you're going to position yourself to capture the city I'm going to want to position as many of these guys in range of the city as possible, like so. And now let's start bombarding. It should be a fairly straightforward kill. Let's bombard with people who don't have promotions first, because then we might be able to save uh, some of the n unnecessary bombards for a different turn. You already have upgrades, and then we can take the city with you. Then I will boost you up to bombardment. We'll keep this city loyalty wise over here in suwon i think i can pull out victor now and put him into a different city real realign him over to guanju to buy me some turns to be able to get daegu capture that city and then i'll have a loyalty block up here in the north and then i can also use this as an aircraft staging area to attack the um Alex, uh, the Greeks, the Macedonians. There is advanced flight. Now we want a beeline refining. It's going to be a very fast beeline because we're generating so much science per turn right now. Shipyard in here. I'm going to purchase that shipyard to get this city growing and producing a little bit more. And in the meantime, I'm just going to tell it to get to work on a seaport. I'm going to send this privateer to go assist with the killing of Coupe. You're going to heal there. Escape on foot. I have lost so many goddamn uh agents in the field working against korea let's heal up let's keep the city excellent choose an escape route on foot repair the monument repair the granary get to work on those same thing here monument granary and then come back and bother me all right poor little crossbowman's got its work cut out for him i'm gonna take the garrison promotion which will increase the amount of damage this guy does you know it might be a good idea to beeline field cannons first just so i can get a little bit better 
and clear that out without, with, with less issues rather. Next up on the chopping block is Daegu. Let's move that caravel out and then I'll move in this caravel to heal up. Probably should have actually formed a fleet and then moved in there, but it's all the one. I'll get this privateer to hang out there and heal up. That's fine. Get you moved. Oh my goodness, I need to get rid of some of these barbarian units as well before I can really begin to engage the city. Not a big deal. We'll get there in the end. Excellent. All right, all of you guys are in position. I've got a little privateer just hanging out here. The hard part is going to be taking Korea's capital because there's an encampment district and a city that can bombard us. So that's going to be a rough little uh, exchange. But I think we'll be able to pull that off without too many issues. Airport finished in here. Let's purchase ourselves a bomber oh i don't have enough cash well i'll tell you what why don't you just build the hangar for a few turns um and then we'll get back to you you know what actually i'm tempted to go ahead and just purchase the two district the two buildings to get them done a little bit quicker especially for the extra air combat experience would be very very nice yeah i think i'll hard build the hangar oh you know what i could just hard build the bomber yeah, if I hard build the bomber, in the time that it takes me to build the bomber, I'll be able to purchase the hangar and the thing. So yeah, that works out fine for me. This caravel over here actually has a promotion from doing so much damage. Let's take reinforced hull, so he's a little bit tankier. Kill that quadrium causing me an issue. There's also a privateer over here deciding it wants to make a mess of my units. You're ready for a pillage and you are ready for a heal now you do 50 damage which is quite a bit more so you're gonna actually do some serious damage to these guys and slowly whittle them down venetian arsenal finished excellent look at that that is done that means we're gonna be able to build boats uh, super efficiently in here which means uh, that's what we should actually do we should build frigates in this city and in fact we should build frigate fleets i'm actually gonna wait until mobilization before i start building stuff like that so i'll just tell the city to build a spy and once mobilization is finished i can start building frigate fleets and stuff like that and really get the naval game going right seaport need that seaport online before i get mobilization so i can again start building those really really nice um really really nice things the uh the, the words the words i have forgotten that makes boats uh really strong armadas that's the one <laughs> okay let's keep exploring here i'm actually going to take the pillage here for a little bit of health i'm going to get all you guys lined up let's get the caravel into position as well let's start hammering daegu there we go the city is now ready for capture we will of course keep this city and that'll provide extra loyalty to over here and now we got to start dealing with this nonsense down here the korean capital must go do the regular stuff monument granary i'll purchase all that stuff later don't you worry about that in the meantime, over here in Alexander's lands, I'm going to gain sources so I can just do a bit of sabotage. You'll take a moment to promote. I'll also be promoting this guy with plus one movement. I like having mobility. It lets me get around the map easier. Let's try and kill this knight if we can. All right, knight is down. Wonderful. Keep trading for gold. Lots and lots of gold. More fishing boats are online. This is a bit of a problem. I'm going to shoot the guy who's not on ideal terrain to hopefully do a tiny amount more damage. We're going to need a field cannon up here. We're going to need even more units, to be totally honest. James Watt, recruit. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got James Watt. I'm going to plug him in here. This will instantly build, but more importantly, it'll give my factories plus two production, which means I get two charges of that, which means my factories go from plus uh, five production. Let me double check that. Is a plus six? Yeah, factories are plus six production, and if I get both of those, they will in fact go up to plus eight production, and then finally plus ten production in the local area, which is an awful lot. All right, Kalapoy is ready for some work. I'm going to leave it just slowly. I think this city is basically a dead city um, because I captured it, so I'm just going to go ahead and slowly build a shipyard in here, and then eventually maybe I'll bother with it to do something. The so next up is the Maori capital. We'll swing all of our units in that direction to start hammering away at that. All right, time for you to die, excellent. Shoot you, shoot you, shoot you. Awesome, get you to swing out this way. Let's keep shooting you, shooting you, and shooting you. Let's move down this way, excellent, brilliant. Right, so we should be able to take this on in a moment. I could get myself another ironclad. We need to take out this district first. It's gonna be a bit of an obstacle for us. So we'll start doing a bit of damage to it. We have a promotion in the bank on this caravel or this frigate rather oh my god there's so much fortification health here okay spy time for you to be promoted i will take polygraph fine that seems pretty reasonable another copy of james watt is plugged in which is plus two production for every city in the local area very nice i think you need to see if you can't get rid of some of these 
uh, Maori units running around causing issues. Might be good to purchase a builder in here as well. Let's go ahead and purchase ourselves another trader in the capital. Can I get two? No, just one will do. Oh dear, that's a lot of musket men. But we are slowly whittling them down by shooting them. Right, time to get to work on the Maori capital. We shall shoot you there. We shall shoot you there. And one more. Excellent. So now they're down to capture. Capturing the Maori capital. We'll be keeping that city. Domination wise, we're doing really, really well. We have uh, quite a bit of work done. We've captured quite a few cities. I think we've captured um, most of Korea. We just need to take their capital. She has no army. She's making almost no science. America does need to die. America is a problem. Let's just let's just acknowledge that the America is a problem. They already have rocketry, so we're going to have to start hammering away at them uh, as soon as possible. I am kind of on par or better than them at science, so I shouldn't have too much of an issue long term. As expected, we took a bit of damage here. Let's go ahead and back this guy up and get into position to start doing damage to this district. I'm going to want even more units in around here as well. As many as I can get. I'll do I'll take I will take some time to heal on some of these guys though, because they are pretty shook up from the uh non-stop war that we've been engaged in. We did get a seaport over here in Missulk. It has a fairly low production line. I mean, I guess I could get an industrial zone if I really wanted to. On the other hand, I could get an entertainment complex and get two amenities out of this city, which would help it a lot in terms of its productivity. Shipyard over or we finished the campus. How did I not get a shipyard in Colosavar? Oh my god, did I just completely forget that that was something I was meant to do? Yikes. Time to head over and start capturing the next Maori city. I'm not actually, you know what? I might even just call it quits with the Maori at this point and sort of eat the amenities problem that we have built up. It's only 100 amenities, so I might just go ahead and make peace with them. They'll demand a little bit of gold, but that's fine. I have the cities that I want. I have the things that I care about. Now I'm going to want to look for aluminum and sort of plan my attacks around that where I can maybe pick up a bit of aluminum. So for example, Sweden is a great target because I can pick up some aluminum over here. I can also pick up some, oh, I can pick up, yeah, yeah, this is definitely my first target. I can pick up so much aluminum from Norway and Sweden by attacking them. That is three copies of uh, aluminum uh, from Norway and Sweden by getting in here and doing some damage to them. So let's step forward now that we should be able to take down this district a little bit easier. We're going to bring all of these ranged units into the fray. I'm a little bit worried about you getting killed by the double shot, but I think if we can do enough damage to this district, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Although there is a bit of a threat here. Yeah, you know what? You might actually be dead. That was a mistake on my part. Library completed over here in Sex I'm going to go for the university. Again, more science is always good because we always have the scientific victory as a backup win condition if we so choose. Actually, did I plug in rationalism? I completely forgot to plug in rationalism. Oh my God, I am just a mess. We'll go up to 340 science here and that'll hopefully grow as time goes on and we make more and more science and more population throughout my cities. These guys do need to reach 10 population before that's going to be a big deal. Right, now that I'm at peace with the Maori, I'm going to start sending these boats back home because they're going to be participating in the war against the Norwegians. We're about to finish our very first bomber, which is great. And I'm also going to be getting to work on stuff like armadas, just pumping out armadas uh, every turn that I can. Right, little encampment, time for you to die. Bye-bye, encampment. About half health now, so we should be able to take it down next turn, and then I'll have to have a privateer in the area to actually do the pillaging of it, but that shouldn't be too demanding a task. First bomber is finished. Let's go ahead and get it relocated to Pex. Rebase you in Pex. That's going to be the city that we use to attack Bandar Brunei. I might even liberate Bandar Brunei, to be totally honest, because I don't think there's any aluminum in there for me. And of course, we'll get to work on a second copy of a bomber, because we can support two of them right now. After mobilization, we are going to want to pick up conservation for the resource management card. In the meantime, up here, you can get yourself hands on an armory. It seems a pretty reasonable thing to do to me. And I'll go ahead and keep trading and trading and trading and trading and trading. I'm also going to get flanking bonuses for my naval units. Seems pretty reasonable. Settle this city out in the ocean. Let's go ahead and spend a bit of cash to get this city up and running on the Granary Monument front. We'll also plop in a harbor right there. Although, oh, that's a reef right there. I can't put it there. That's a plus five harbor, which is pretty damn nice. A lot of these musketmen have been hit, but they're not going down because it's just taking far too long. I should have upgraded you to a field cannon, to be honest. Another farm in here, and then we've got a very nice little farm triangle going on here, but nobody's really working it, but that's fine. It's not it's not what's important. The important thing is that we're having an efficient use of our tiles. Speaking of efficient use of our tiles, there's quite a few tiles in my capital that haven't been upgraded, which is 
definitely a mistake because I could have more lumber mills and stuff in here. We did just enter into the modern era, which is going to cause us a little bit of a loyalty issue in some of my cities, in particular Su Wan over here. So I'm going to maybe look to appoint someone. But first of all, let's make our dedication. I'm going to take Heartbeat of Steam because I am building a lot of buildings and we'll be able to get advantage out of that. You're going to back up to promote and healed and we'll just keep pushing units in to this choke point to take out this encampment district. There we go, it is now down. So next turn, we should be able to shoot it a couple of times and then pillage it and then get to work on the actual capital city itself. Dedication wise, yeah, wait, what? He captured Bandar Brunei and you're gonna put that one up? Okay, seems reasonable to me. Seaport finished over here in Estergom. I'm gonna put a few turns into a frigate army, frigate fleet rather. But my plan is, oh, that's kind of not gonna line up very well. I'll tell you what, I'll just do production saving in here then until I can start building armadas. All right, sabotage production in here. Excellent. Just kind of do a little bit of damage to Alexander. I'll probably be attacking Alexander from the east first and then maybe purchasing an army to go take on Pella. Let's go ahead and get you up to here. Now, bombers have a range of 10. So let me do a little bit of counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So I should be able to bomb some of these cities like Orbo. Oh, actually, speaking of which, these guys can't be deployed like fighters. I need a unit over here to go scout this out because I could take this if I wanted to pretty easily. And this would work as a great staging area for the war with Sweden and Norway. Of course, I do have to wait 11 turns before I can get that war going because I did get an alliance with them. I didn't think it would, uh, I didn't think I would be ready to go to war with them before the alliance was up, which is why I took the alliance. And plus, it also gave me a bit of space to uh, take on Korea, but we'll get there in the end. Okay, he, I've taken Chuchin. I'll vote that down. I have almost no, uh, I'm getting no diplomatic favor because I've been a, a right bastard <laughs> by attacking everyone. Okay, so it's time for this district to fall. I just need to do one more hit on it, and there it is. And then I can bring in this privateer to do the coastal raid. Okay, so we've taken down the fortifications in here. Uh, I'm going to do a coastal raid with you. Did that not work? Oh, I guess I must have misclicked or something. Anyway, let's get these guys to fall back to heal a little bit, and then we can get to work on bombarding the capital. It's going to take quite a while. Look at that. We only took 14 defenses out of 200. Seaport finished in here. Now up here, I can definitely get to work on some frigates. I'll even get to work. Oh, these are very, very expensive, actually. That's something to keep in mind. I would probably be better off building frigate armies up here because they cost that much. And then I would be better off making privateers, privateer fleets. But I'll just do production saving in here, just like I'm doing down in um, Estergom while I'm waiting for the mobilization civic to be able to build uh, armadas. Little crossbowman that could. Let's upgrade you to a field cannon so you do that little bit more damage. It's about 20 more damage or 20 more combat strength, which can translate into an awful lot of damage when you're comparing combat strengths between units. All right, we've got a nuclear submarine problem again. Let's get this guy to back up, this privateer fleet, and see if we can deal with this uh, nuclear submarine. It is a pain in the ass. But I think with the right tools, we can do it. We fall back in there to heal. I've got a lot of people healing up here. Let's start bombarding him. You should really have another promotion, like line of battle. But for now, just get as much damage into this guy. Because what I need him to do is to try to heal by using a promotion next turn. And then I can kill him properly. Harbour completed over here in Kosig. Let's go ahead and purchase the lighthouse and the shipyard. That's going to help pay this city's prices off. We'll get to work on the seaport in here, mostly just because the city is designed to generate gold and stuff like that. Not really a super important city, but I figure a little bit of investment into it isn't that big of a deal. Let's kill this scout so that it doesn't spawn more units against me up here. All right, we finished another spy. I'm going to put this one in Sweden's capital so that I can keep getting uh, diplomatic visibility with them so I can, you know, uh, get extra combat strength against them. In the meantime, we are going to rebase this bomber. Oh, I haven't finished that bomber, but we're about to finish mobilization, so I won't have to cancel production anymore in a moment, and then I can get to work on the things. Uh, by the way, I, this particular variant of the exploit, I'm only doing this so I don't have to remember to actually switch the production when I finish this technology. I, I Functionally, I can get the same effect by just putting production into privateers and stuff like that. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to show you that in PEX. I'm going to try to remember. So if I put like production into a privateer fleet next turn, I'll show you uh, that I can switch that over to an armada. So technically it's, it's, it's a less egregious version of the exploit. Let's go ahead and grab a lighthouse and a shipyard. And then in here, we'll get to work on the seaport as well. Okay, nuclear submarine has been damaged down to a more reasonable health level. Let's keep 
killing him. Okay, he needs to die. Okay, the nuclear submarine is now dead. Step up to start shooting the city with my units. There we go. Looking really, really good in terms of the health. We shall start doing serious damage over the next few turns. I'm not even sure if I should really move a unit into the lighthouse area, but uh, we'll see about that as time goes on. All right, time to steal some money from Washington again. A city has reached 15 population for the first time in my civilization. Excellent. And there is mobilization. So let's swing in over to our cities. And I can show you right here the example that I was talking about. I can switch this production over to the privateer Armada. And you can see there's no difference. It saves it saves the production. So just by doing this, I didn't have to like put the effort in to remember to switch to the privateer Armada. Basically is uh, why I did that. And we're building privateer Armadas because we... I uh, want to save building the frigate armadas in Buda. Right, I'm going to pop you down here to the southwest and then I'm going to take the pr supply fleet promotion so that you can heal outside of uh, outside of allied territory. Let's go ahead and start bombarding this city. You are actually going to want to take a promotion before you do that. And we'll keep going here. We're bringing this down. Nice. Our navy is almost home to begin the war with Sweden and Norway. Just need a little bit of work on that front. Let's go ahead and get this quarry online as well. And we've got one of our bombers is still in position. And another one is finishing next turn. And of course, I've almost cleared out this northern island. Uh, northern northern uh, area, rather. It's not an island. There is rifling. Let us begin the bombardment of the city once again. Excellent. Look at that city fall so quickly. We're going to want to have a caravel in position to take up the uh, station here too. Second bomber finished. Let's get them positioned in... Okay, I would like to... Uh, <laughs> why is it being weird? Let me go ahead and grab you. Let me rebase you over to Zazid. Say Say However the hell you pronounce that. Now I could build more bombers, right? I could. But I don't have enough aluminum to sustain them and then I won't be able to heal them. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over and start producing frigate armadas, where they're only going to cost me nine nighter compared to the normal amount. They will take four turns to build, but they're quite cheap. Downside is they will be getting converted over to battleships soon, which means I'm going to be having competing uh, pressures on my coal. But I will have access to oil soon, which is always nice. Seaport finished and pest. Let's go ahead and get to work on privateers. Library completed in here. Let's get the university. All right, so how long do we have left now on these alliances? We're down to six turns, so we're getting very, very close to the moment of war declaration. The very first armada has been formed under my command. Uh, I kind of made a mistake by leaving this guy too deep in enemy territory. Now they can't escape. I might be able to get away if you can survive one more turn of damage. Let's see if we can get enough damage on this city to save it. That might be enough damage to save it. Depends if a, if a if a nuclear submarine finishes this turn, he's dead. Which is not a big deal. We are now able to mass produce navy, so I'm not too, like, worried about that. Privateer completed in here as well. Let's go ahead and get more privateer armadas. We're going to choose an escape route on foot. I'm going to be spending less time on the trivial parts of the gameplay now. I think we're in deep enough to where I should really, really, really focus on the things that really matter. Like the actual combat and stuff like that. So you're going to be set seeing less of me, like, managing cities and more of me just engaging in warfare. Right, there is refining. We can now get battleships, oil wells, and oil. We have no oil. What? Are you kidding me? Did I really find no oil? Hungary? Oh my god, I found no oil. That is so painful. There's so much oil on the map too. America has all of the oil in the universe. There's some oil over here. I need to get Babylon on my side. I need to settle a city right here to get this oil too. This has been a rough game for strategic resources, let me tell you. I, there's actually no oil within any, like, distance of my cities. I'll probably just... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to purchase a settler just to get that oil right there. There's plenty of oil uh, if we attack Sweden and stuff, so that'll work out just fine for us. But really, no oil whatsoever throughout my empire. I'm actually kind of blown away by that. Considering how much oil is over here, for example, like, it's just crazy. You would think with the size of my empire that I would have hit, like, a good amount of oil in it, but it looks like I should have taken this... Um, Coupe City, because he has plenty of oil up here. Korea had no oil. There is a little bit of oil to the north. I think I might even purchase another settler to go grab that. Just want to get this oil online, because the more oil we have, the bigger and better our navy can be. In terms of next steps for upgrades, we're going to be heading up to pick up plastics. We're also going to want to upgrade our bombers. We're going to want to get missile cruisers and stuff like that, too. If we can get missile cruisers, I'd be very happy. Uh, jet bombers and missile cruisers are our main thing. We also want to get nuclear subs, so I think that might be the next big thing for us. Now that we actually have oil unlocked, 
we'll swing up here and then we can actually sustain some of these nuclear submarines the worrying thing is though um i'm building a lot of privateers so it might be a bit of a problem but we'll see how that goes the nice thing here though with the um venetian arsenal in says i'm getting two privateer armadas every time i do this in fact, it might even be worth it to move Magnus over to the city and build battleship armadas here. Let's get some battleship armadas. It'll take 19 turns, but that's fine. Once they're done, they'll be super duper powered. Probably would be a good idea to pick up some one drops of units as well to fill out these armadas in here and stuff like that. Like I could definitely use single privateers at least twice or three times and maybe even a caravel and stuff like that. So we'll have to see what we do there. Let's go ahead and grab the arena. Okay, time to take on Gyeongju. This guy did manage to survive, which I'm very happy about. And we can start doing some serious, serious damage to the city. It should fall next turn, which means Korea is out of the game. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just combine these guys together to get a uh, thingy. An armada. Time for Gyeongju to fall. Let me pull this guy out, get you in there, start hammering the city, just get it down to zero health, and then attack it with this nice caravel. Bada bing, bada boom. See you later, Korea. Korea's dead. We took their city, we get some error score, and we get a bunch of nice wonders from them too, which means my units have plus one movement. I believe, right? That's the Great Lighthouse? Yeah, I have the Great Lighthouse now, so even better naval movement. And now that we have a very nice, big, roasty, toasty army over here, we can get to work on uh, filling them out by purchasing a shipyard in here and uh, sort of grabbing ourselves a few units. Like, for example, we could use some regular old frigates to combine these together. Oh, I can't do that anymore because I don't have access to those units. Ouch. But we'll get to work on attacking uh, Alexander next, I think, once the time... I'm going to probably try and do like a simultaneous attack on Alexander and Sweden-Norway sort of a thing. I think that's kind of where I'm at with this. Speaking of which, I can actually air attack this city. Look at the damage that a bomber does to a city. That was one single attack. And like, the other really cool thing about bombers is you can like pillage people's stuff. <laughs> there's something really satisfying about pillaging someone's tiles and there's nothing they can do about it. But with the fall of Korea, I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I hope you guys are really enjoying this different style of playing on a naval map where you go for the naval air strategy. Hopefully you can start to see how it comes together. You push hard for harbors and campuses early game. Then you transition into industrial zones. Once you are sort of in the industrial zone phase, you also start to produce a sort of renaissance navy of frigates and caravels with privateers. And then you push into someone and kill them and then you transition into late game aircraft depending on your strategic resources right now we're in the process of trying to pick up oil and we will pick up some oil which will allow us to build even more really high-tech boats and stuff like that i do need to be careful though because i'm, I'm losing a lot of my um resources uh, st uh strategics to stuff like niter uh, not niter sorry i'll be losing a lot of oil as i start to upgrade this navy so i need to get like an awful lot of oil to sustain it but yeah i'm gonna call that the end of the episode i love you all very much and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye